Good morning. My name is Miss T. McQuinn here at the Achievable Dream Academy at Holland Springs Elementary. This is my fifth grade class. Tell them good morning, class. Good morning. We are doing a math lesson where we are going to be exploring decimals to fractions and fractions to decimals. So just to start off today, our learning target is I can represent a fraction as a decimal and I can represent a decimal as a fraction. Okay, so you should have your math notebooks on your desk. You won't need them too much. So if you wanna move it out of the way, you wanna close it, you wanna put it on the floor, you can. If you have enough space on your desk, keep it on your desk. And make sure your attention is at the board. So our first question up here today, I use my name, it says, Miss McQuinn is coloring the blocks. Which decimal represents the part of the blocks that she has colored? So if it's asking us which decimal, what's the first thing that we should do when they give us a picture? What's the first thing we should do? Autumn. Write the fraction. Write the fraction. Is she correct? Yes. Come on, good answer, good answer, good answer, good answer. All right, so we should write the fraction. What is the fraction that I'm going to put up here? Kenaya. Okay, Kenaya says we have four shaded blocks. Tell me more, Kenaya. What would, that, what would the four shaded blocks represent? The numerator. The numerator. What's the numerator, class? Four. Four. And where is the numerator the top or the bottom? It's the top number. So that's going to be a four. So we're going to put a four here. You should be writing that on your desk. And then you have fraction pieces on your desk. So if you want to represent this same fraction using the fraction pieces on your desk, you may do so. So we have a four as our numerator. Is the problem finished? No. No, it's not finished. So. There's another number that we're missing. What number are we missing? What number are we missing? Cain. 10. 10. Why are we missing the 10? Because that's the, that's the amount of numbers that she has. That's the amount of numbers or the blocks? That's the amount of blocks, the, the total amount of blocks that we have? Yes. yes. <laughs> total amount of blocks is 10. So that's. Our fraction is 4 over what? Ten. 4 over 10. Look at that. We have 4 over 10. So when we have a 10 at the bottom, what do we think about, class? Place, 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 value. place value. We think about place value. So if we can look at this fraction, we think about place value. Now we can change it to a decimal using what? Place, place value. value. And so it says 4 over 10. Raise your hand if you could tell me. Raise your hand if you could tell me. This is an easy one, so everybody's hand should be up. Raise your hand if you could tell me what is 4 over 10 as a decimal. Drew. 0.4. Drew says 0 0.4. Is he correct? Yes. Good, good answer. answer. Good answer. Good answer, Drew. Good answer. We good? Yes. Let's do the next one then. Let's do the next one. You can raise your desk if you want, or you can just keep it up there. It's a big desk. You should have enough space. Now, this next fraction looks is a little bit tricky, right? Look at, look at the way it's colored. We got, we got a picture here where it's, this one is colored. This one is not. This one is colored or shaded. This one is colored, shaded. This one is not. Does that change how we read the fraction? No. No. So we're going to look at the shaded parts to find our what? Numerator. Numerator and we're going to count all of them to find the what? Denominator. Denominator. So, Madison, tell me about this problem. Is she correct? Yes. Good answer. Yes. Good, answer. Yes. Good answer. So she says there's three blocks colored. So which, the three, is that going to be my bottom or my top number? Top. Top. Because that's my what? 
That's my numerator. And my bottom number or my denominator is what? Five. Five. So now we have three-fifths. Now there's two ways we could do this, right? Raise your hand if you could tell me one way we can change this to a decimal. If you could tell me one way we can change this to a decimal. Amari? Double and what? Double and half. She says we can double and half. Is she right? Yeah. Good answer. Good answer. We can double and half it or we can do the division process. Y'all prefer to do what? Double and half. Double and half. What does doubling and halving mean, though? Because we can just say, oh, we're going to double and half. But when we say we're going to double and half, what does that mean, Mariah? She says it means to multiply or divide by two, right? Is that right? Yes. Come on, give us some. Good answer, good answer, good answer, good answer. So when we double it, we're multiplying by two. And when we're halving, that means we're dividing by two. So on your desk, you should have three-fifths. And if you have the fraction pieces to represent it, that's good. But you should have three-fifths because I wrote three-fifths. And what I write? Me write. Great. So let's double and half it. So if I want to double the three... That's the same thing as saying three times two. Doubling and halving, right? Yeah. Yeah. Double three. Raise your hand if you could tell me what's double three. Double is three. Brayden. Six. six. Brayden says six. Is he right? Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Okay. And what if I want to double the five? Double the five. Carmen. 10. Is she right? Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. All right. So we have 6 over 10. We did it again. What do we have at the bottom? A 10. A 10. So whenever we see a 10 at the bottom or, or 100 at the bottom or 1,000 at the bottom for our denominator, what is it that we can think of? Place value. Place value. Easy conversion when we have place value, right? Go ahead and write the, what you think the decimal answer is on your desk. And I'm coming around to chat. Josiah, I like how you have your fraction pieces represented over there. She has her three-fifths represented. All right, most of you have zero decimal six. And I think you all are correct. Good job. Good job. So 6 over 10 is going to be 0 decimal 6. Okay? Ready for the next one? Yeah. All right. She'll have it erased. There we go. I think I should give y'all a challenge. Yes. Yes. No. No. Yeah. no? No challenge? Yeah. Let's do a challenge. Let's do a challenge. Those was easy. We kept going to tenths. Ha. You will probably never see this on a test. But I think y'all could do it because y'all like to double and half, which is multiplying by two or dividing by two. You show me you can multiply by two. But let's see who knows their division, who can half and who can cut these in half. All right, what fraction do I have on the board, class? 42 over 100. Can we think about place value with that one? No. No. So it's a fraction. It's kind of big. We probably need to shrink it down, right? Yeah. So when we break our fractions down, what do we do? We want to what? Reduce it. We want to reduce it, we want to simplify it, we want to break it down. So, we've been talking about doubling and halving with our equivalent fractions and changing them to decimals, right? So, what could I do with this one? What could I do with this fraction? Skyler. Double and half. Double and half. So, am I going to double this? Am I going to take 42 and double it? No, I'm not going to double it. What am I going to do? Half. I'm going to half it. So, I'm going to find out. What is half of 42 and half of 200? Raise your hand 
if you could tell me what's half of the numerator. And that means you got to know which number is the numerator. Dylan. 21. 21. He says 42, half of it is 21. Is he correct? Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Now, 200, easy. Y'all should know that right off the top of your heads. Raise your hand if you can tell me what's half of 200. Sonny. 100. Is he right? Yeah. Yes, good answer, good answer. Good answer, Sonny. So now I have 21 over 100. I have a 100 at the bottom. That's my denominator. So whenever we have a 10 at the bottom, 100 at the bottom, 1,000 at the bottom, what can we think of? Place value. Place value. So I have 21 over 100. Can I, re can I reduce this? Can I break it down anymore? No. no. I can go ahead and write it as a what? Decimal. Write it as a decimal. So 21 over 100. That's like 21 hundreds, right? How can I write 21 over 100 as a decimal? All right, so we have 21 over 100 written as a fraction. So that's 21 hundreds. But how can we write that as a decimal? Raise your hand for me, raise your hand for me. Jaden, how can we write it as a decimal? Zero. Zero. Decimal. decimal two, one. two, one. Is Jaden correct? Yeah. yeah, good answer, good answer. So how can we say this? Zero, all of you, tell me. how can we say it? Zero and 2100. Hundreds, make sure you have that TH on the end. Because 21. Can you do something? So, before we end the lesson, I do got to tell y'all something. We do got a test. You got a quiz on changing fractions to decimals. So, you know what? It's getting ready to happen. 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 You better get 100, too. It's getting ready to happen. It's getting ready to happen. It's getting ready to happen. Thank you for joining our math lesson today where we were changing fractions to decimals, decimals to fractions, and even looking at some equivalent fractions. Just keep dreaming.